if you are looking for a Dell laptop under 60k that is great for coding, gaming and office work, the Dell Inspiron 14 5430 is a solid option. I have been using it for over a year and here is my honest review. Here are the specs of the laptop I have. We will dive into the details but before that if you have not subscribed yet, do hit the subscribe button. It motivates me to create more such content like this for you. Now let's talk about the build. The laptop has a matte finish with an aluminum build. The Dell logo is clean and minimal and the metal body gives it a polished premium touch. On the back, you will see the rubber paddings and a long horizontal air intake vents that pull air to cool this laptop. On the side, you can see the ridges that lift the laptop helping with the airflow. The laptop itself weighs around 1.5 kilos and along with the charger it goes up to 1.9 kilos so you are roughly carrying about 2 kilos in the bag. You can open the laptop with just one finger, the hinge is really smooth. And as the screen opens, the bottom hinge lifts the laptop up to help with cooling and ergonomics. On the front, you have the i5 and Intel Iris Xe graphics logo. Next to it, you have the trackpad that is quite large and feels like sliding fingers on polished glass. The keyboard is spacious with evenly spaced keys that are great for long typing sessions. Right between the keyboard and the screen, you will notice the exhaust vents that expel hot air. They are angled upwards so the hot air doesn't blow directly onto the display. On the side, you get a charging port, an HDMI 1.4 port, a USB 3.2 and a Thunderbolt port which supports charging and display output. On the other side, you have a headphone jack, full-size SD card reader and a USB port. Connectivity wise, it supports Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.3, both are up to date. Booting time is pretty fast, despite having multiple apps, it took only 15 seconds to fully boot this device. Now coming to the internal specs, you get an 8GB LPDDR5 non-expandable RAM with a max speed of 4800MT per second. You get a 1TB NVMV SN740 SSD, so this is a PCI version 4 SSD with solid read and write speeds. You get an Intel i5-1335U with 10 cores, 12 threads, 4.6 GHz clock speed and a 12MB L3 cache. In benchmark test, the performance is comparable to the Apple M1 chip. Here is how the scores look. And for graphics, you get a 128MB integrated Intel Iris Xe graphics card. So you can play games like GTA 5 in low settings, edit 2K videos and open 10-15 to 15 Excel sheets and the system won't lag. Overall, the laptop ticks most boxes for productivity. Now let's talk about display. So this is a 14 inch Full HD Plus WVA display with a 60Hz refresh rate and 250 nits brightness. The max resolution is 1920 by 1200. So it's similar to an IPS panel in terms of viewing angles. When I played 4K videos, the colors and overall quality felt ok to view. I did test it with and without lights and the overall quality was ok. To get a better idea, I compared it side by side with a MacBook Retina display. And here I could notice some clear difference. Compared to the MacBook, you can see that the colors here are quite muted. And that's because it only covers around 56% of the sRGB spectrum and 45% NTSC. So if you are a designer or you need accurate color for editing, this display is disappointing. But for media consumption or office work, it does the job. It has Dolby speakers and they are surprisingly good in the audio test. I also played a few songs at 60 to 70 percentage volume and this is how it sounds. Even with 100% volume, the sound was pretty clear, making it good for movies and calls. It has a fully backlit keyboard. To turn it on, press F5 once, press F5 again for max brightness 
and press F5 again to turn it off. There is almost no flex, the typing feels sturdy and satisfying. Here is a quick sound test of the typing feel. You get 8080p Full HD webcam with a physical privacy shutter, a must have in 2025. You can also record videos in Full HD and you have the option to set the frame rate up to 60Hz. Here is how the webcam and mic perform in normal lighting. Hi, this is a test of the webcam in the Dell laptop. So as you can see, this is the Full HD uh, 1080 pixel webcam. Now if I turn the privacy shutter off, you can see the camera is off and when I turn it uh, back on again, it is on. Now all the videos that we record is going to go inside your gallery. So please make sure you are going and taking this video from there. You can access the webcam footage from the gallery. The webcam does pick some background noise, but if you have a good mic and lighting, I bet this webcam will be sharp for zoom calls or office meetings. The battery is 55 watt hours and charges via this included adapter. Just plug into the charging port and you get about 50% charge in like 50 minutes. For normal usage, the battery lasts around 6 to 7 hours. I tested charging with a MacBook Type-C charger through the Thunderbolt port and to my surprise it did charge. But I did see a message recommending a higher wattage adapter. So that's a wrap on this Dell Inspiron laptop. If display is in the top priority for you and you want a Dell laptop with decent spec and performance under the budget of 60k, this one is a great buy. Check out the link in the description if you are interested. And that's it. If you found this video useful, do give it a like and subscribe to this channel. Until next time, this is Vaishag. See you, take care and bye.